My father's been a driver for as long as I can remember. A cabbie, pizza guy, and now he teaches driving. Driving's always been a point of convergence for us. We'd fight over the wheel no matter who was behind it. But in your three-pointer, Mukhani Barrier. That end, eh? Yes. I don't think so. I think that's opening. No, in your city, Tom Hosse. No, but I can go out here. I'm not sure who's more stubborn, him or I. Yeah. Right. This is Kaus Meridian all the way down. When we talk, we talk past each other, so we don't do much of that. Driving made it easier because we didn't have to look at each other. Just straight down the road. Made us feel like we were doing something together. And we were, but... آیا شوخی بگو شوخی خوب داری یه داستان شوخی نگه تو بخوا بری ایرپورت بعد یه چیز بهتری بکوشی یه شلوار قشنگتری بکوش Before we sought political asylum in Canada in the 80s, my father was an artist back home in Iran. The anti-war and feminist themes of his work weren't celebrated there, so his career was cut short. I think a lot about that when I make films or do any kind of creative work. I think about the sacrifices he made so I can be an artist in Canada. It gives me something to work towards. It makes me feel good to think about that. It's a good feeling. And you're listening to Hear It Now on CBC Radio 1. If you're passing by the Gardner Museum, you may notice a group of people participating in a unique exhibition by Toronto artist Maziar Gaderi. It's called Corsi, and Maziar is here. So describe a bit more about what I'm going to see in front of the Gardner Museum tomorrow night. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, so basically, a Corsi is a traditional Iranian low table. Back in the day where there wasn't heating in houses, what families would used to do is that they would have this low table, have floor pillows all around it, and they would put coal fire under the table and a big blanket over the table that would kind of drape over people's laps. And it was just a very kind of practical, kind of rural way of staying warm at the onset of winter. What we did is basically remediating that traditional pastime of, hmm. you know, my grandparents uh, and my father's childhood. This project is a dedication to my father, because when he was a kid, this is what his family would used to do. Is your dad going to be yeah, able to... Yeah, he yeah, is? Yeah. Your dad's going to be there? Yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't seen him in about a year. He's flying in tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think he knows how big the festival is going to be and how big the Corsi will be, so I'm super excited to have him. Thank you so much for telling us about it. I'm going to come look for you tomorrow night. Maziar Gaderi is a Toronto artist. His show, Corsi. Hey, Baba John, who are you? Residi? Escalator, you're at the escalator. Ma, ma, we're at 12. 12. That, that was that. That was that. You're coming outside? Okay. Ma, Nazika, Shumare, that was that. Okay? Alright. Okay, bye. Good 
خب یه یه اینترویو کردم من سی بی سی رادیو امروز آها خیلی جالب بود اونا از کجا فهمیده بودم به اینکه اینجا این این میوزیم که این کار رو داریم میکنیم The Gardner Museum به این معروفیه معروفه آره معروف خیلی کانتک دارم با میدیا و این چیز You have to stop completely Make it a stop If no car, go to the right Go to the right Before you go, you need shoulder check Shoulder check پری ما با مازی ها رو پاتیشی ها داریم میریم الان خونه داریم میریم خونه بعد یه چی دیگه داریم میریم خونه الان بیا هری دو این هم با 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 میدیم آب میدیم دعوا میکنیم میگن که برای ارزایمر خوبه دعوای زن شوهر به دوربین نگاه نکن هنرپیشی شد یا حسینا هنرپیشی سوال رو بپرس دیگه من ببینم چی میخوای بگی اصلا من الان نمیدار کرسی رو الان سوال رو کردی سوال نه یا حسین جلو وای خاک آلم حسین نمیخوام اصلا اکس بگیری خود شد پاک زده به دیگونگی گفتم از همون چه کنش سی اکس بگی بزن زمین اصلا دیگه بازش نکن باش He's very jealous. No, it's a picture too. <clears throat> when we left Iran, you were very small. I mean, you and your brother were not even in school. But the thing is, we did because we had to. There was a changes in government. We had to leave. When I see newscasts from that time, I feel sad for what became of our homeland, but also a profound gratitude to my parents for having the guts to get us out. See, Khomeini's war effort had broad support. The whole world was watching. To compete against the invading Iraqi forces, he ordered human wave attacks of mostly teenagers to the war front, mere children. How old is this guy? He's 14, 14 or something. Because he's come here to fight. He's left his mother, he's left his father, just to fight the Iraqis. My cousin Afshin enlisted. They never found his body. It's crazy to think how different my life could have been. I could have been one of them. I could have been recruited, I could have been killed. We lived in Tehran. This is what happened there, they had to leave. When we came here, it was just not easy with two kids to start all over, start from zero. And we were not that young, around 40 years old, because we were in, a most, I mean, in some kind of a lonely and you try not to get depressed. And you were kids, you were just hyper and then walking, jumping, playing with other kids. You had your, your own needs. Somehow we were there. Not that much happy, but we had to make you happy because you had a new life. But if we were staying in Iran, you were more, much more closer to, I mean, the kids are closer to parents over there. But here, somehow, uh, when you go out to school and then the society has a more effect on you than the frame of family. And then the when you grow up in a different country like you, you always think that you know better than your parents because you speak English with no accent. They think that, oh, you're better than your parents because speaking English with no accent, but the parents still have a problem and looking for dictionary, it just makes a lots of lots of difference. And it's not easy for parents either. 
the kids stay, I mean, getting far, far, far away from parents. It is so slowly that they don't, both, of, both sides, they don't even understand. They're getting f away from each other. And I can see that in my family. But that's just something that nothing we can do. Had a course with Baba? Oh yeah, when we were in uh, north part of Iran, we didn't have a heat because there was some problem with the gasoline. And we put a course, electrical course. It was nice. And my son and my boys were there too, sleeping at the course. They were three years old, five and three. The house was really cold. The room was really cold, but under the corsi was warm. That was the only heat we had. یه توب درم قلقلیه میزنم زمین هوا میره او این ساید از گود او لکه دیس از نو قراز مازیار ایوید پارت از گود سی دیس ایوید پارت از گود اوکی Really, I'm not sure. Ten minutes to clean the anor, and then you can eat it in two minutes, maybe one minute. <laughs> okay, yeah. Enjoy. Through this Corsi project, I hope to feel closer to my parents and their culture, to recreate a part of their past as a way of saying, I see you, Mama and Baba. Thank you. Done. This area is done. It's finished? Yeah. Front is yours. You don't want this one? No. What are you doing, Patricia? Because I have a second question from your mom. Uh -oh. You answer my first question. Okay, how about the second question? <laughs> Do you know second question? Where is the cat? You don't have it? I don't have a cat. Oh, because Italian people usually they like the cat. No? no? This is my experience. Not, not everybody oh, likes Oh, not cat. everybody. Yeah. No. Okay, but can you go back to the signs? Corsi. About 
artwork. Baba. That's the poem that I wrote for you. My Baba. This is for Paddy Doch. This is mm. for Prader. It's an mm -hmm. old poem. This project is dedicated to my parents, Paddy Kabe and Hussein Ladri. To whom I owe everything, to whom none of this would be possible without. Mm -hmm. I was in my 20s when I went to Iran with my father. The whole trip was intoxicating. So much history and culture right from the tap, right from the source. Okay, Mazia, right now we are going to Shah Afghaz Hotel, famous hotel at Islam. Yeah? And are we staying at this hotel? Yeah. No, we're not staying in this hotel. Yes, we have to say yes. Oh, uh, we are staying at this hotel. Yes. We say yes to the camera. Yes. And no to the person behind the yes. desk. Yeah. Baba felt so comfortable there. It was great to see him in his element. One time in a city park, he casually approached these musicians and we just hung out with them, just like that. I had never seen him do something like that before growing up in Canada. The trip wasn't all fun and laughs. My father's hometown had changed so much, he didn't even recognize it, in more ways than one. I could always feel the authoritarian gaze of the government over me. I did not like that feeling. I'm not used to it. It was a sobering reminder of why we left. I loved going out with him at night. That's where the real culture is, all underground. The trip helped me to see a new side of him I've never seen before. The real him. Far from the pizza delivery guy taking ESL classes that didn't get my jokes nor taste in music. It inspired me to bring to Canada a feeling. A feeling to make him feel whole, like he seemed to be during that trip. Maziare. Maziare? Maziar. Kitoy Maziare. Finally, the big day. It was also exciting. It was at a popular venue right downtown, and I even had a giant pomegranate made for the Corsi. It was great to see my father get involved. 
While setting up, I kept imagining him giving a funny, heartfelt speech later on that evening. I could see the artist he once was, if only for a second. وقتی که چای میخورم اونم میخونم اونجا اونی که بهتره بخونم اونجا اونی که اونجا وایساده بزن اون بالا برای اینکه با اون مچ میشه با کرسی This is the opening. Oh, my God, it's good, huh? If you're passing by the Gardner Museum, you may notice a group of people huddled outside. They'll be keeping warm, whatever the weather, but also participating in a unique exhibition by Toronto artist Maziar Gaderi. It's called Corsi, and Maziar is here. So describe a bit more about what I'm going to see in front of the Gardner Museum. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Visit God. Uh, I'm Maz. Uh, welcome to my installation called Corsi. This is a traditional Iranian low table. I see some of you already see that you take the blanket, you put it under your laps, and there's heaters under the table that keep you warm. The reason these pomegranates are here is because in our culture, in Iranian culture, it represents uh, love and fertility, and they're harvest this time of year. Uh, this is a dedication to my dad right there, that Jose in the corner, wearing the hat. There he is, the little weird sir. Yay! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. in a very old city, Lahore. And we have not exactly a kursi, but we sit on the floor or on a bed, and we sit together in a circle. But I find um, now, like, I'm living in Canada, and it's almost like painful for me to have those memories, because I know that I've lost a part of my life that I can never kind of recreate like Malsia Ghadari is trying to create a little, little section of his life or his parents' life. Till tonight, I wasn't really thinking about anything like this because I know it cannot be recreated. You have to be back home where everybody understands what is going on. From sundown to sunup, and after all of this work, thousands of people came to the show. That felt amazing. But I couldn't get what that woman said out of my head. She put into words exactly what I was feeling, though at the time I didn't understand fully. I kept thinking, why didn't Baba make a speech or tell a joke? I asked him to, he declined. I remember feeling annoyed. Something fell off. Did I not capture the essence of the Corsi that night? Or have I been chasing ghosts this whole time?
Bye bye, I'm going to read you a poem. Okay, go ahead. I slept for the rest of my life on my parents' backs. Now I'm driving, looking in the back seat. I see myself staring back. I see a man sleeping in his best and only suit. I find an unknown martyr, a man that questioned, leaving me the truth. I found my father. Thank you. Baba. Yeah. What, what do you think life would be like if you were still in Iran? It was completely different. Your feeling is different, not like this. That means you when I was studying in Italy in an academy of Bella Arti, I never, never think one day in Toronto I will be acting. You're acting now? Yes, I'm acting. Who are you acting but as? Free, free. Who are you acting as? Oh, life is strange. Did you ever think you'd be at a big course in Toronto? Yeah. To answer the question, did you ever think you'd be a big course in Toronto? No, no, no. The first day I arrived in Rome, I talked to Marcello Mastrani in close to the bar. It was very interesting. Do you What's know that? Marcello Mastrani? Mm -mm. Italian actor. She died. Oh, yeah? He was acting with Sofia Loren. Oh, yeah? And I had a picture with him. Yeah. که من الان یخ کردم بیا یخ کردی کورسی لازم داری آره آی نید کورسی خب اوکی لیتس گو بک تو دی کار اوکی دان دان آی دید ا لات اف سول سرچینگ افتر دت دی ان دی پارک why was I really so disappointed? Sometimes we put expectations on our parents, hoping they'll react the way we want them to. I wanted to see that spark come alive in him again, like in our trip to Iran. I wanted him to be proud of me. And he was. He did stay up with us until daybreak. Not bad for a 75-year-old. But he didn't even want to say a couple words to the crowd the way I had hoped he would. I wanted him to be the king that night of the Corsi. But maybe it was so that I could feel like a prince, if only for a night. <laughs> 